Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an Nginx reverse proxy running on Windows Server on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for AWS and from here you want to click on continue to subscribe. And then from this product page, you want to click on accept terms and then you want to wait for the validation process to complete. Once the subscription validation is done, you want to click on continue to configuration. After that, choose the AMI, choose the software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Once that is done, simply click on continue to launch. And then you would be redirected to this website on which you get two different options. Now you can launch the EC2 virtual machine from either this website or from the EC2 management console. So I'm going to shift it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now this is going to open up the EC2 management console in a new tab and in this tab you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name. I am going to call mine as nginx and then scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. After that, scroll down and choose the instance type according to your requirements and choose a key pair by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. But remember that this is the key pair that you would be using while establishing an RDP connection with your virtual machine. You can leave the network settings as default and then simply click on launch. Then wait for the virtual machine to be deployed. Once the deployment process is done, you want to establish an RDP connection with your virtual machine. For that, simply click on view all instances. And then simply right click on your virtual machine and choose connect. Now in this connect tab, you're going to shift over to RDP client. And in this RDP client, you're going to scroll down and click on get password. And then from this page, you want to browse your private key. After that, your private key is going to show itself over here. So simply click on decrypt password. Now you have your public DNS, administrator account or the username and the password. Now to connect to this virtual machine, simply hit Windows and open up the remote desktop connection app. Now in here, simply paste in the public DNS as the computer name and click on show more options and paste in the username as administrator and then click on connect. After that, you're going to be prompted for the password. So for that, copy this password and paste it in this field and hit OK. After that, you would be prompted that you are trying to connect to a remote computer. So click yes and then wait for the connection to be established and also wait for the Windows server to be completely loaded. Now, once the Windows server has been completely loaded, you want to open up the file explorer. You want to click on this PC, head inside the C directory and in this C directory, you can see this folder named as nginx. So you want to head inside that folder and you want to open up the command prompt within this folder. So simply click on this URL and type in CMD and then hit enter. Now as you can see that I have opened this CMD inside C slash nginx folder. Now we want to start our nginx service. For that simply type in the command start space nginx dot exe and then hit enter. And now our nginx has successfully been started. Now to verify this, what we can do is that we can simply open up this Internet Explorer and then type the URL as HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost and then the port number 80 and then hit enter. And from this web page, it is clear that Nginx is now running. Now to set up an Nginx reverse proxy, what we're going to do is that we're going to head inside the Nginx folder and then head inside configuration folder. And after that, we are simply going to right click on this nginx.conf file and choose open with. And then we are going to try an app on this PC and choose notepad to open up our configuration file. Now in this configuration file, we are going to scroll to this server tag. And in this tag, we can see that it is listening to localhost at port number 80. Now what we want to do as a reverse proxy is that whenever a user tries to access the port number 8080, we are going to simply redirect it to let's say youtube.com. For that, simply change this listen tag from port number 80 to 8080 and then under this location tag, you're going to simply remove all of the previous lines. After that, you're simply going to copy this proxy pass line and paste it inside this location tag. And then you're simply going to change this URL to www.youtube.com. Now save this file, exit from it and head back to the command prompt. Now in this command prompt, you want to rerun the nginx service. 
But before that, you also want to check for the syntax of this nginx. So type in the command nginx.exe space hyphen t and then hit enter. Now you can see that the nginx syntax is totally okay. So we can rerun the command start space nginx.exe. Now this is going to rerun our nginx server. Now if we head back to the Internet Explorer and this time around we are simply going to modify the port number from 80 to 8080 and then hit enter and just like that we have been proxied to youtube.com. Now this also brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for AWS and also for the step-by-step -step blog post on how to set up nginx reverse proxy on windows server running on AWS. And finally if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.